Hi, this is Shankar, working as assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. In this video, we are going to discuss what are the guidelines we need to follow to find the conceptual classes. Before that, let us discuss what is conceptual class. Conceptual class is an idea, thing or object. More formally, a conceptual class may be considered in terms of its symbol, intention and extension. Symbol words are images representing a conceptual class. Intention is the definition of a conceptual class. Extension is the set of examples to which the conceptual class applies. As of this, we conclude that a conceptual class has a symbol, intention and extension. An example is given uh, with uh, sales. The first diagram represents that the symbol which represents the sale class. Sale is a class name. It has two attributes. That is date and time. The second diagram represents that the intention. We know that the intention is the definition of conceptual class. The definition of the sale is a sale represents the event of a purchase transaction. It has date and time attributes. Then the third one is extension. We know that the extension is some set of examples to which the conceptual class applies. Here there are four examples are there. The examples are sale 1, sale 2, sale 3, sale 4 as concept extension for sale class. And next, <coughs> next, how to find the conceptual class. For this, commonly we have two techniques to find the conceptual class. The first one is use conceptual class category list. Second one is identifying the noun phrase. So let us see uh, one by one. Initially, we'll discuss use a conceptual class category list. To create a domain model by making a list of candidate conceptual classes. The example is given Two examples are uh, considered POS and airline reservation domains. So initially in the left first column represent conceptual class categories and the second column represents some examples. The conceptual class category for the first one is physical or tangible objects. So here we have taken two classes. One is product on sale and another one is airline reservation domains. The first class have registers for physical or tangible objects. The second class airline reservation system, uh, system taken as airplane. Then the second one, second one represents that the specification, design or descriptions of things. For the class POS, it should be product specification. And the second one for airline reservation system, it should be flight description. The third category is places. For here, POS system, it is store. For airline reservation, it is airport. The next category is transaction. For transaction, POS is sale, payment, and airline reservation, it is reservation. The next category is transaction line times. So for sales, it is sale line items. Next category is role of people. So here in POS, it is cashier, and for airline reservation, it is pilot. And the next category is container of other things. So for POS, it is store bin. For airline reservation, it is airplane. The next category is thing in a container. So in POS, product on sale, it is item. For airline reservation, it is passenger. And next category is other computer or electromechanical systems external to the system. For POS, it is credit payment authorization system. For airline reservation, it is air traffic control. The next category is organizations. For POS, it is sale department. For airline reservation, it is object airline. And next category is events. So for POS, it is sale, payment, and meeting. For airline reservation, it is flight crash and landing. The next category is rules and policies. So here in, in POS, it is refund policy. 
in airline system airline reservation system it is cancellation policy the next category is catalog obviously pos product catalog and uh, airline reservation is parts catalog the next category is records of finance work contracts legal matters so the examples are examples are receipt ledger employment contract maintenance log the next category financial instruments and services so here line of credit and stock the next category is manuals documents reference papers and books so the examples are daily price change list required manual these are the examples the next category a is next to type is identifying noun phrases so here uh, we are uh, uh, forming uh, like a sentence and we are taking noun phrases conceptual classes so which are uh, highlighted as bold letter we can consider as those are conceptual classes customers arrives at a pos checkout with goods or and services to purchase so in this statement we'll consider customer pos checkout goods and services or conceptual classes and next cashier starts a new sale so in this case cashier is a conceptual class and sale is another conceptual class and next cashier enter item identifier so here item identifier is a conceptual class and next system records sale line item and presents item descriptions price and running total so here here sale line item item description price and total are the conceptual classes and next system presents total with taxes calculated with taxes calculated so here taxes are the conceptual class and next cashier tells customers the total and as per payment so here payment is the conceptual class and next customer pays and system handle handle payment so here payment is the another concept class that already we have discussed that's why we have not highlighted here and next system logs the completed sales so they here we can consider the system log has the next uh, conceptual class it is not highlighted here and next system presents receipt so here receipt is another conceptual class and next customer leaves with the receipts and goods right so here we considered only pos class uh, for finding the conceptual classes so you just try out over the uh, airline reservation systems uh, in a similar manner for the noun phrases conceptual classes and next the candidate conceptual class for the sale domain from the category list and noun phrase analysis a list generated of candidate conceptual classes for the domain so here some uh, conceptual classes has been listed based on the previous examples that is sale cash payment sale line item item register ledger cashier customer store product description and product catalog so it has been highlighted in the right hand side diagrams what are the conceptual classes for the sales domain thank you for all watching this lecture series thank you